In 2008, the UFC stormed into Canada, and in April of 2011, 55,000 fans welcomed the organization to the Rogers Centre in Toronto. Yet a cloud has still been cast over mixed martial arts in Canada in the form of Section 83, which states that everyone who engages a principal in a prize fight, advises, encourages, or promotes a prize fight, or is present at prize fight as an aide, second, surgeon, umpire, backer, or reporter, is guilty of an offence punishable on summary conviction. Today, the UFC has taken over Parliament Hill, and the House of Commons has actually credentialed John Pollock to enter this building. All right, we're here with the UFC Director of Operations for UFC Canada, Tom Wright. And Tom, you know, Section 83 is a term that a lot of MMA fans, it's a bit of a, a headache for a lot of them. If you can explain what we're doing here uh, today. All we're trying to do is make some simple changes to Section 83 of the Criminal Code, whereby the, the term mixed martial arts is added to the term prize fighting and boxing so that under no circumstances will it not be clear that, that all provinces will have the opportunity to sanction and regulate our sport because with those changes to the criminal code, it will no longer be considered illegal in those jurisdictions. What we're trying to do is eliminate that obstacle so no province commissioner can come to us and say, well, it's still illegal because it will no longer be illegal in that sense. Now, within the wording of Section 83, it mentions the, the illegality of prize fighting. It also mentions reporting on such an event, and thus, I'm a little concerned here. What could potentially happen to myself reporting on an event like this, Tom? Don't worry, we'll take care of you, buddy. You know, I'll, I'll visit you, don't worry. All right, Mark, we are here on Parliament Hill. What, what are we doing here? This is crazy. I, I haven't been here since my, I think, grade seven or eight <laughs> class came for uh, orientation to him. Do you think the, the language in Section 83, it still leaves a lot open to interpretation? Or is it something that at, at the end of the day, we will see some concrete changes? Yeah, we're, like we're in six out of ten provinces in Canada. You know, definitely there has to be a revision to Section, 80, Section 83 so it can be across Canada and it's regulated. It's, it's very few times that you see people who are trying to make it, you know, fighting for regulation as opposed to fighting against it. Like, we want regulation, and that's what we're here trying to explain to everybody. How many times have people got your name wrong? <laughs> I couldn't, I lost count. I came to accept it by now, so. What's, what's maybe the worst you've ever gotten? Jaboon. 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 Yves Jabouin. Exactly. There. That's well, <laughs> well I, I try here. All right, we are here with a member of parliament slash MMA fighter Brian Leaf. This is something I never thought I would stumble upon. What is the MMA scene like in the Yukon? I know the Alaska Fighting Championships exist, and we actually run it on our network. Well, it's growing now, and uh, when I first started, there, there, there was no real club there. There was a lot of uh, people with great backgrounds, and we all kind of pulled together and made a little bit of a camp and a makeshift gym. Now we have Avalanche MMA as a club in town. We're going to start seeing more and more Canadian athletes have the success that we can all celebrate. I learned a lot of things on this trip. Number one is that for $5.65, you too can become a member of the media in Parliament. Number two is that Madame Locurto's grade eight French really didn't prepare me for this trip. But what wasn't learned was anything new in regards to Section 83 of the Criminal Code. This is an outdated code that reflects the prize fighting game of decades past and not reflective of 2011. For any provinces or territories to shun mixed martial arts when they welcome professional boxing, you're still in violation technically of this criminal code and it's not representative anymore for this emerging sport. But most importantly, I've learned that it's in the Yukon that's got this thing right. And I'm now off to check out some Avalanche MMA.